welcome to Low Budget Reviews of Fatal Fury for the Sega Genesis. This is Ron Moore along with Archangel Zero and The Unknown. Yep, yep. What's up, y'all? Yeah, and Fatal Fury. I was never good at this game, but this is like pretty much the only King of Fighters game I ever played except, uh, like, <laughs> uh, Capcom vs. SNK. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've always liked this game ever since it came out, and uh, if you notice, it says King of Fighters, so I think it was the beginning. Yeah, I always wonder why. I guess they thought King of Fighters was a better name, and I don't know. I liked uh, Fatal Fury. It was pretty cool. Yeah, the uh, Fatal Fury series is uh, it's a real good game. Uh, they uh, First of, uh, what, the three, I think it is, or four. Yeah, and right here, uh, we forgot how to play, so we're going to let the computer battle it out. <laughs> Yeah, it was a good idea, Ron. I mean, let the computer fight it out because uh, they know all the moves and uh, they could actually give the characters justice. Yeah, really. I, I was a button masher in this game. I never really was good at it, but I just seen it in, like, I think a Sega Visions magazine back in 93. And I was like, oh, man, it looks cool. I got to have it. So then I ran it at Flix, and, yeah, man, I was real addicted to it. Yeah, Tung Furu, he's tight. Yeah, he's he's actually my favorite character in the series and uh, and, and many other games too. But uh, I started off playing with him, and uh, I like the way he turns into a, like a Hulk killer or something. Yeah, really. He has Roy Rage, and he just yeah, I man, just turns to the Hulk or something. And uh, yeah, Terry Bogard. Yeah, he's uh, one of the main characters of the game. Yeah, if you can do that to Terry Bogard, I would be really scared of that old man. Yeah, really. Oh, I like this uh, Quan Chen Kang Shaolin Kung Fu The Legend Continues uh, stage right here. <laughs> uh, I like how you can uh, go from uh, uh, from one, you know, like like two planes, you know, one back and then one forward. You keep going back and forth. I think that was uh, pretty innovative at the time. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I like how the stage environments change with each round. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of good ideas for the first game of his time, and uh, I, I think they didn't bring back Tung Furu until later, like in the Neo Geo Battle Coliseum, and I don't know why, I mean, he's, he's a real good character. Yeah, really, and there's no female fighters in this game, I don't know why. They didn't have one until part two, with uh, Mai Shrenu, or whatever her name was, I don't know. Oh yeah, here's my favorite character, Duck King, so... The unknown's character, Tung Fru versus my Duck King. I don't know who would win. I don't know. <laughs> oh, fighting Geese Howard stage. Yeah, this right here is the final stage where we fight Geese, Geese Howard. Oh, Duck King got oh, he got beat real quick. Oh, what happened? He just knows how to dance. I don't think he really knows how to fight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and there's Terry's uh, trademark. Uh, okay, throws hat. Why is he a Duck King? I don't understand that. I think there's a stage name because I think he's a, he's a DJ, and uh, I think uh, he does it all. You know, he's a DJ, he dances, and uh, and he fights apparently. I think it's because he uh, fights ducks. <laughs> does he duck his opponents? He uh, he eats them. <laughs> I wonder if he likes Howard the Duck. Oh, he lost again. What happened, Angel? <laughs> Somebody call it ambulance. <laughs> yeah, he, dang, he got messed up. <laughs> it's because he needs to change his mohawk to the Jerry curls. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he just got hung over or something. Yeah. Oh, look. The unknown Higashi versus Joe Higashi. Yeah, I'm fighting myself. <laughs> and, oh, Waco Text. Oh, wait, no. Geese building. <laughs> Oh, we did a tiger knee. The real tiger knee. They're, uh, they're, uh, it's about to finish you the real Joe Higashi. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're both clones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that a uh, Tony Jaw from uh, Angbok? I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but uh, to me, this is like the only character that reminds me of Tony Jaw. Uh, he reminds me of a. Uh, well, I don't know about real life fighters. Well, maybe uh, Van Damme for Kickboxer and uh, Sagat, but with, with hair and shorter. I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, he kind of reminds me of that uh, character Joe Higashi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's beast. <laughs> oh. I think it's like one of the only 2D fire games at the time, at least, that you can jump like in the background and then jump in the back and foreground. When I first found out about this game, uh, it was like they always kept the Street Fighter and the Fatal Fury game separate, depending on where you go. So I never found these two games together ever, 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 ever. What do you mean, like in the same store? Or? Yeah, same store, same arcade. I never could find these like two cabinets in the same store ever. Oh, okay, because I know I, I found these two like in the same rental store, but as far as arcade, no, nah, because probably because like Street Fighter was too busy with Mortal Kombat, so they couldn't fight Fear of Fury either. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, yeah, this, these, these games were kind of hard to find as far as the Fatal Furies. Um, I guess the uh, KOF series is a little bit easier to find, but I think you're right, man. What did you say again? <laughs> uh, I, I never played the arcade version. Yeah, I never seen an arcade version of Fatal Fury. I, like I said, I didn't hear about it till Sega Visions magazine, and I was like, heck yeah, this looks pretty cool. Oh, Duck King again. Oh, Richard Meyer. Oh, he's gonna stab him with his uh, his, uh, his luchador pick. Oh, Duck King stage. F two break dancers now fighting. Oh wait, wait, he's a couple weather guy, right? The what? The Capoeira guy? Yeah, yeah, that's him. It's like, uh, he's like a Brazilian style fighter. Um, yeah, almost like a dance too. Yeah, he, he likes to walk around like he's got something stuck up his butt. That's part of the the dance. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man, what? Dang, <laughs> he got killed. <laughs> he cheated, man. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, one thing of a uh, little bit of trivia, one of the characters that didn't make it into this game is actually in the background, he's one of the Muay Thai fighters. Uh, I can't remember his name, I think his name is Kwai or Hai Jai, I don't know. I mean, I don't know, let's Google for that, so. Kwai Chang Kane? Nah, yeah, I see you talking about back there, yeah, I always wondered that. I said, he looks like a fighter, how come he's not in this game? I really don't know too much, I didn't read up on the trivia. I just know that there's two dancers fighting when they shouldn't be fighting. <laughs> Dang, Richard Meyer got, Michael Myers, and whatever his name is, got whooped. Dang, look at him. <laughs> you notice when they talk at the end right there, all of them say the same thing pretty much. It's like random. Like when Terry goes, I, I almost lost. And then later on, like, Andy would say the same thing, or or Ryden would say the same thing. Like, Wait a minute. <laughs> That's not their own custom saying. I thought he was going to fight Mike Tyson. Yeah, Balrog versus Jet from Street Your Rage. <laughs> Oh, the legend continues again. Hey, I didn't know Balrog was in this game. I know, right? What's his name? Michael. Dang it, I forgot. Ma Max. Uh, Extreme. I forgot. I think Mike Tyson had an influence on every fighting game that came out. Because in every fighting game, you're going to see a Mike Tyson character around this era. Yeah, really, except Mortal Kombat. But Oh, yeah, well, Killer Instinct had TJ Combo, though. Yeah, yeah, except Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I think that's after Mike Tyson was retired already. Yeah. Oh, he knocked out Andy. What? I, it's, I don't know, it seems like uh, Michael Max has more moves and stuff, but I don't know. Balrog was still whoop uh, Michael Max, but I don't know about TJ Combo, though. I don't know. I would like to see all three of them go into Battle Royale and see, see who will win. I think TJ Combo would. Uh, I think you're right on that one, just because he's got the combos and, I don't know, he looks bigger. Yeah. Bigger is better. Yeah, and he's got those fatalities. Yeah. Look at, see, I was I, I almost lost. All oh, my legs. That's Nate. That's Nate. It's Malcolm Max versus uh, ah, oh, the unknown again. Yeah, they they can't get enough of me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Duck King, Angel versus the unknown. Ooh, I'm gonna use uh, all my breakdancing skills. Yeah, uh, and Lake Waco. <laughs> There's the fair in the background. That's actually pretty cool. I think this is probably one of my favorite stages just because the water looks like really, really kind of real. 
Yeah, it looks a lot better than that Street Rage 1 water. Oh, yeah, it was saturated and it looks like there's like mud puddles everywhere. Yeah, that water down water. Yeah, water. <laughs> there was dead fish floating on the top. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, like wake up. No. <laughs> That's Duck King fighting, not DJ. Uh, yeah, when you lose Angel, be like, uh, uh, uh. Oh, that's what you're talking about when the stage changes, uh, like the evening to morning or whatever. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I don't think Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat did that back then. No, they didn't. They just left it out completely. So yeah, SNK did it right. Yeah, they did. Cause these fights last long and they fight till the end of time and. And death, you should not escape long death. Yeah, they had more uh, J Japanese people I think working on this. Yeah, I think they're, uh, I think they're fighting until they get hungry, and then they just stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that guy right there is hungry in the background. <laughs> oh, now it's night time. Oh, it's gonna be crunk now. There's gonna be uh, hits that you you're not able to see, so someone's gonna die. Yeah, really. Oh, that sound effect. That's the sound effect you heard at the beginning of the game, the intro. That uh, Duck King uh, kind of sounds like the uh, Sonic move or something. Yeah, he's doing Blanca's roll too. Oh, yeah, it's like the, they recycle all those uh, sound effects. Yeah, really. Oh, man, this is a good fight down to the wire. And they're jumping around everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he got him. He got Joe. Joe got tired of jumping around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get real tired when you start jumping around. Yeah, really. <laughs> I want to see the two brothers fight, Terry versus Andy. Yeah, that'd be tight. Oh, Tung Furu again. Oh, Michael Myers. Yeah, I like the music in this game. It's kind of kind of fresh, kind of new, even though it's old already. Yeah, I like this music right here, too, the Geese Howard track. You see him? Michael Myers going crazy with those uh, <laughs> tornado wing kicks. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's getting tired of it, too. Oh, epic bear guy! Oh, 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 bring the amber lamps! Oh, I do that at the clubs, and everybody gets out of my way. <laughs> I just started uh, taking the uh, steroids. <laughs> oh, Zangief, uh, spinning uh, cyclone clothesline. Man, I don't think even geese could be tongue for real, really. Yeah, I know. I wonder what statues that in the background. I think those are like gods. Yeah, I think so. But in one player mode, you can only play with the, with the Bogards and Higashi, right? Uh, yeah, I think on campaign or something like that. It's kind of dumb. Wish you could have beat the game with all of them, but I guess because the story revolves around Geese Howard and... Because I think Geese Howard killed the Bogards' father? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd have to agree since I don't know. <laughs> Dang, Tom Furu whooped him. And, uh, I think Geese like adopted, like either adopted him or something like that. I think it. Yeah. It what? Yeah, I think he like brought him under his wing and then he broke off. Um, <laughs> then <laughs> his wing got injured. He couldn't fly with him no more. Oh, Duck King! Oh, get him, Ducky! Those knives that he's got like on his uh, gloves, I can't tell. Yeah, I think so. And I wish you could change the uniform colors. I don't know if you could or not on here. Nah, not even later you could. I think not until like the 2000 era. I think, uh, I don't think about, I don't think colors can change. I think they're just a little slightly darker. You know, like black almost. 
Yeah, when you have same character versus same character mode. Uh, <laughs> oh, nice counter. Oh. And that floor is clean. Yeah, uh, Geese has like um, people that wax it every day. Yeah, really. Yeah, it's like, uh, you know, I think this game should be like tournament worthy. Genesis version. Yeah, really. I never played the SNES version. What's that like? Um, uh, I think the I think the graphics are just better. Uh, sound is better. Yeah, I think uh, I think I think I agree with him on that. Uh, as far as everything else, they kept a uh, closer port to the original on the Genesis, though. As far as all the small details. <laughs> yeah, because I think the Genesis one came out first. So this is one I, I play more than the Super NES version. Yeah, I never got to play the SNES version. Should check that out. Um, oh, round three. Oh, this time it's for real because it's lightning in the background. I love lightning. Ride the lightning. Spur. Uh... Oh, someone has some crunk cola. If you want to look up that video, it's called crunk cola with a K for crunk, and then I think it's with a K for cola, or... Yeah, it is. Crunk cola on YouTube. Spur. <laughs> yeah, you should all check it out. Get some views. You'll see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a good fight. Duck King won. Raiden fight. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, oh. uh, Duck King's Alley. Man, somebody's gonna die. Yeah, really. I like uh, the uh, the other uniform right there for Richard. Oh yeah, I guess they do change color. Uh, but like I said, one's darker than the other. Yeah. Oh. Uh, hey, he grabs somebody with one foot. Oh, he whooped himself. He whooped himself. He whooped him with his athlete's foot. Yeah. <laughs> John Madden comes in. Boom! Tough Adam to Natin. <laughs> Look at him. Oh. Oh, they bump heads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, don't make me kick you, Cuddy. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> They look like two helicopters. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, is anybody uh, hot, man? They're uh, like a fan. Dang, look at them. They're still going. <laughs> look, they're laughing at them, too, back there. They're like, man, those two guys are just playing around. Yeah, really. <laughs> I like how they're putting on a show for everybody to see. Yeah, right. how do you break dance like that? How does someone do that? I would make it rain on them. I'd just keep throwing a whole bunch of ones. Yeah. <laughs> Time almost expired on them, but the fake uh, Richard won. There can be only one Highlander. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember Fear Fury 2 where you won with Kim, whatever his name is. And then when you fight yourself, he goes, I am the real Kim something. Oh yeah, Kim Kep, uh Quan or something like that. Kim Quan Chi or yeah. Oh, you talking about the noodle soup? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. I like how he rocks back and forth like uh, like he's uh, hungover or something. Yeah, really. Because he is. <laughs> Ha! You can never imitate Sagat's laugh. <laughs> right in, right in. That was right in. Right down. <laughs> Him again. Uh. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. Ah, uh, the amusement park. Right in stage, at least. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We're still waiting on him. He 
you notice um, every stage is connected with another stage like what was it that the beach you can see the uh, the ferris wheel in the background and now they're actually at the fair so, uh, I think that's pretty cool how they connected everything like that yeah really and uh, Dracula's castles in the background or no that's Death Mountain from A Link to the Past or uh, Ocarina of Time no. <laughs> yeah because um, they did a great job doing that because later on they just didn't care no more they just like whatever looks good yeah really and also, there's the fighter's souls are connected too because uh, when Virtue loses, uh, I think uh, Joe will own his uh, soul, and then Geese Howard will. Ah, uh, oh, Phil. <laughs> I will have your soul. That's what you call the boat, the Ghostbusters. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, Joe whooped him. Has Richard won a match yet, other than against himself? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think. I think he's just. He just. Uh, he likes playing around all the time. Yeah, he's just in to have fun. He don't need the money. He has his own dojo, so... Oh, there he is! Raiden! Raiden! Yeah! Oh, oh, Vader versus the Unknown. Oh, uh, it's gonna be a good match. I don't know. I don't know. This guy might be too heavy for him. <laughs> I like him better with his mask. I don't like him when he became Big Bear. Yeah, I think he looks more, um... Uh... How you say? He looks like, like a motorcycle biker that wants to fight. He could be a boss in Streets of Rage. I agree. He should be a normal character. Yeah, really. I like the way your Raiden walks. I wish I could walk like that everywhere I went. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, double axe handle. Finished him off. I think it's just too slow, though, when they die. You, like, wait for them to hurry up and land. and <laughs> They got to bounce one time before uh, they move on to the next round. I tell you what, he's a better looking character than uh, Zangi from Street Fighter, I think so. Uh, I don't know, I, I I think they both look good, but I don't know, I like Zangief's, uh, Zangief's look better, but I love Raiden as uh, the mask guy, you know, Raiden, not Big Bear. After that, I'm like, oh man, <laughs> you lost your, uh, uh, I don't know, appealness. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's almost like he, uh, I guess he wanted people to know who he was. You know who he reminds me of when he spits that stuff? Maxed, masked muscle from uh, Super Punch-Out. Uh, I don't know that guy. I do, he's pretty cool. Yeah, he kind of reminds me of him. And he won, too. Oh. He was inspired by the rest of Vader. No, not really. <laughs> no, you, you can kind of see it, you know. I, you know, like, uh, the Japanese would make characters based off, you know, real real life people that were famous like Hugo yeah like Hugo <laughs> man they love fighting in uh, their stepfather stage <laughs> yeah because the the floors are clean yeah bro they got they got people that come in to do janitorial shifts in the morning and then uh, so they be ready for the fight at night this is the they should have used this stage in the Kumite yeah I remember with, uh, uh, yeah <laughs> Bolo Young or Angel versus uh, a Duck King. Oh yeah, I'd break that guy's back. Yeah. No, stop! Yeah, and uh, Raiden is uh, Ray Jackson. Well, so, uh, what do you say? I will have you next or something like that. Uh, you are next. You break record. Now I break you. Like I break your friend. Uh. Yeah, you got it, man. You got it. Yeah, Bolo Young was not happy with a uh, Street Fighter because, or actually, Chong Lee wasn't happy with Street Fighter because in the bonus stage where you destroyed the bricks, he got mad and said, "Very good, but brick, not hit back." Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I should put Chong Lee in this game. He would probably kill Geese Howard. Oh yeah, he would have uh, broke the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, he would have cheated though. I think they both would have anyways. <laughs> Everybody cheats. You got fireballs spraying mist out of your mouth and Chong Lee would throw the powder. Oh yeah, ankles are, and the Van Dangles. Ah! Yeah. It's uh it's baby powder though what he throws. <laughs> yeah. Joe Higashi's Frank Dukes and Chong Lee would be uh I don't know, is there any Asian fighters in this game? <laughs> On this one? I don't know. I think uh Terry and Andy. 
Oh uh, yeah, Tung Fu kind of, uh, but he's too old to be a uh, Chong Li. I guess Geese Howard have to be Chong Li. He's too old to be re uh, Asian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he's just the ancestor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Raiden versus Balrog. Uh, I don't know. They're both kind of buff. Yeah. Oh, and Max the stage. It's all about who's hungrier first. So it's like Raiden's more hungrier. Yeah, it looks like I don't think I would ever invite him to Thanksgiving. He probably just would eat eat everything like Brawl Man from Fifth Floor. <laughs> yeah. It is Bro Man you're fighting. Man, he tore him down. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Yeah, I like uh I like that finishing uh, touch up he did. Yeah, already Barog don't even do that. Barog, I think uh his jaw's locked up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, they had Mike. They was gonna have Mike Tyson in Mortal Kombat, and the finishing move bite your ear off, but it was too bloody and graphic. <laughs> oh look, the, the poison mist and uh, the tornado uh, warning. I like how there's a tornado warning. I like that, uh, what's that, uh, Sierra Mist that he blows out of his, uh, <laughs> out of his mouth? Yeah. <laughs> oh, round three. This is a good one. Boxer versus wrestler. Yeah, so far, I think it's about an even matchup almost. Yeah, really. Oh. Look at all the women and children. They're like, ah, ah. He's seeing a pregnant chick with the, in bikini over there. Oh, yeah. Those are probably all their, uh, all their, uh, their their loved ones yeah <laughs> yeah they uh, pass them around so gross yeah <laughs> uh, uh, shut up see man it's it's not custom made uh, uh, words it's, everybody says that shut up <laughs> like if someone could have said oh man I was on my period <laughs> and then it would be like a guy saying that I'm like what, what? <laughs> oh Terry Bogart is putting up his dukes versus oh Michael Max Myers this shot one says, oh, my man period hurts. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, they found it at the Elite Cafe. Oh, I haven't eaten there. Oh, uh, there's another piece of trivia. Um, there's actually Billy Kane on the right, the very top, standing next to a girl. You guys can see it. Uh, he also didn't make it into the uh, game. He's actually one of the original characters also from uh, the Fiddle Fury. Oh, I didn't know that. If we, if we can see him, if they scroll far enough to the right. But I do remember him in part two. Yeah, I saw him, like, it was like a glimpse. Uh, I think he was, like, uh, hitting people with a stick. <laughs> he, he stuck it to them. <laughs> There's a bunch of Richard Myers in the background. Uh, they're, I think they're in a van. <laughs> it's like Blood Crowser stage. I think they're trying to play their version of La Bamba. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, look at that carpet. Oh, Darla. Oh, wait. Donna, my bad. <laughs> Darla. <laughs> Who? <laughs> I thought when you beat Michael Myers, his mouthpiece comes out. Um, I think he uh, swallowed his mouthpiece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a nice rug. I like to have that in my house. Uh, where's, where's Geese Howard? He's uh he's probably in the restroom taking a big dump. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> he ate too many uh, croutons in a salad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You should not escape long dump. <laughs> oh, that was stupid. <laughs> Beast. Oh, Andy versus Andy on the beach with sand. Daytona Beach. Love cars. <laughs> I love sand um, getting in my ears and in between my toes. <laughs> like sand in the hourglass. These are the laws of our lives. They're jump fighting. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually kind of convenient, so if like one of them dies, they can just bury him there. <laughs> yeah, really. Oh, what was that? I think that was his, uh, the, uh, the eagle... The eagle uh, beard. Yeah. 
This is Chris Jericho before his uh, wrestling debut. I believe it. <laughs> uh, yeah. That move was called a slap, slap the eagle move. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say slap the whole move. Uh, slap something. Slap a, slap a hoe. Slapstick comedy here in Love Bunch Reviews. <laughs> Waiting for the next troll. This ain't review. You just drunk and rant where y'all laugh like hillbillies and and have a sitcom laugh. Yeah, we should actually. That was a good idea. Yeah, we shouldn't laugh at our own jokes. We're losers because of that. Uh, you said it. I didn't. <laughs> oh, the real one won. The real one won. <laughs> yeah. Is that Techno Viking in the background? What? No. no. For those of you who have not seen Techno Viking, type it in YouTube and watch it. What? Techno Viking versus Opa Gangnam Style. <laughs> Gangnam Style. Oh, look. Oh, Geese Howard. Geese. 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 Who's he fighting? I forgot. Oh, okay. It's Andy. No. Sandy Bogard. Don't Bogart the Bogard. I think uh, Andy's too young to fight Geese right now. Oh, he's fighting him though. Yeah, Geese Howard, there's a way to un unlock him. Uh, not, uh, he's only playable, of course, in the uh, <laughs> the versus mode, but it was still pretty cool. Just hold left on both controllers before you pick uh, uh, the versus mode, something like that. Um, and yeah, so, man, he just made short work of uh, Andy, which makes sense. He is the boss of the game. That is very true. Uh, Andy, I think he always pushed himself in the game to to be a better fighter. So I don't know if he's ready for Geese at this point, though. Yeah, really. <laughs> but oh, can't. Who's the older brother, Andy or Terry? Uh, Terry Bogart, but they call him the Lone Wolf because uh, he doesn't really train with Andy unless he's desperate to beat somebody like Krauser. Yeah. Oh man. Oh. He just destroyed Andy. Yeah, uh, I like how Geese always wears that chef's outfit. He beats you up and then makes you something to eat. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> uh oh, again. He slaps you with his pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, first attack. But it's the last attack that counts. Uh, it's actually winning is what counts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, predictable. Beast, like Andy's actually put up a fight. Yeah, he, that, that loss made him mad. I'm surprised you're not uh, asking people to pay to watch this, uh, Ron. Yeah, really, I should, because we can make a lot of money on this right here, especially this match between these two. And Andy got the first win on him. They sh uh, YouTube viewers can pay us with their views. Yeah, <laughs> we live off views, not uh, the monetary system. Our views is what uh, is the lifeline of <laughs> of of us. Yeah, uh, if you would watch it again, if you if if you watched it once, watch it five more times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, that was the slap an eagle move. <laughs> There's a guy on the jeep back there. He looks bored. That's the delivery guy. The d delivery driver. <laughs> yeah. You shall not escape long death. It's hard to fight because you, you reverse a lot of your stuff. Oh, yeah. I think he's the only character that can do that on this one. Yeah, really. Oh, oh look at that. He reverses feet. Look at that. Dang! <laughs> Man, predictable. Yeah, he is beast. Yeah, I think he's uh, one of the toughest characters, even though uh, he's the boss. But I guess he's designed to be like that because he is the last character. But uh, yeah, he's all right. He's not my—he's not my favorite character. I think I like uh, Joe a little bit more. Yeah, and oh, they're fighting again. And Andy will not give up. <laughs> and now they're fighting in Geese's territory. Man, this is going to be hard because uh, all those statues give Geese power. <laughs> yeah, really. And he's already powerful with that, without them. I know. Imagine now. Look, look, he's almost got a perfect. Yeah, really. <laughs> oh, what? He goes, 
you cannot win American. Does he have an American flag on his back though? Uh, yeah, I think he uh, recently became Japanese though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Excuse me! Yeah, he's another Hadouken! Yeah, oh. Look at that. Man. Oh, that's over. Yeah, I think uh, if Geese maybe would have fought uh, Takuma, man, that would have been an awesome fight. <laughs> Takuma? <laughs> but yeah, so that's the end of our review of uh, Fatal Fury for the Sega Genesis. Very fun game to play back in the day. Uh, I, I love the music in the game. Um, and I'm sure the unknown likes um, I like the, the controls. <laughs> yeah, I like the way you when you push the button, it actually does something. Yeah, <laughs> I like Action 52. But anyway, uh, yeah, Fair Fury, f fail, fail, <laughs> Failed Fury. <Failed> yeah. Fury. <laughs> um, man, it was really fun, even though I was never good at it. But I was never good at Killer Instinct either, and I enjoyed that game too. Um, yeah, so, I mean, Fatal Fury or King of Fighters, whatever you want to call it, uh, is a very fun game. The very first one for the Genesis. Never played the SNES version. But like I said, when I saw it in Sega Visions magazine, I knew I had to rent it, and so I did. I played it that weekend, and I think I have the cartridge here in my house. I went and eventually bought it from a pawn shop years later. And, uh, very fun game. Um, I don't know why there's no women in the game, no female fighters. I think the women's movement got mad at that and uh, forced uh, Takara or SNK to put uh, May or Mai in part two. No, not really, but um, it was. This game was definitely fun, and I. And honestly, I, I had more fun watching it than playing it because I really would keep a win-loss record of, of the fighters when they would fight on hard difficulty. Um, and I remember my friends saying, man, you kept, you got this long sheet of win-loss records. You actually watched them fight that long? I go, yeah, man, that's how many matches I've, I've watched. And it's fun to just to, at least back then, it was real fun to watch back in the day um, in any fighting game to put it on difficulty. I wish Street Fighter would have done that back then. And Mortal Kombat, but they didn't back then, and it was fun just to, I know people want to play it rather than watch it, but to me, sometimes I want to watch just to see who would win and what, and that's why Capcom vs. SNK, that's one of the reasons why that game was so fun. You could watch it on the hardest difficulty, and I did that a lot with Fear, Fatal Fury for the Sega Genesis, and uh, so I really had fun with the game back in the day. Uh, the characters, um, I think they're okay, uh, but my favorite one's probably uh, Raiden. I think Raiden's really cool. And, uh, yeah, so, and the storyline to the game, I think, where you gotta, you know, eventually fight Geese Howard, and I don't think Geese Howard knows who they are at first, and he realizes, Bo uh, Bogard, that name sounds familiar, and I think that's when we, you know, find out that, uh, I think he murdered his father, is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. And, yeah, so, <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Anyway, uh, do research, because we, we don't know. Uh, yeah, so... Fatal Fury for the Sega Genesis. I think it's pretty cool. Um, not as good as Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, or Killer Instinct, but not many games are because those games are the elite. Fatal Fury, though, at, for its time, was fun. I give it a uh, eight out of ten. Angel. Uh, yeah, I I agree with Ron. You know, um, uh, Fatal Fury. I mean, it's good in a lot of ways. Raiden's a really cool character, and uh, he was probably one of the first wrestler characters that ever had a mask and was in a, a pretty cool fighting game, but. Uh, I remember playing this at the arcade, but it wasn't, you know, with the uh, Street Fighter arcade, they're always in different stores. I remember going to different convenience stores to play this one. And if you ever travel down to Mexico, all you're going to find is S&K cabinets. You're not going to really find a lot of Capcom cabinets anywhere. So this is, uh, this is mainly where I played a lot of S&K games, well, Fatal Fury 1, 2, and <clears throat> Special. And I would honestly say it's as fun as Street Fighter. Um, I would I would play it, get you know, uh, probably <clears throat> even buy it, you know. So I give it about an eight point five out of ten, just because I think they could have had a probably eat some female fighters, at least one like the Chun Li and Street Fighter. So they didn't have that to part two, so I get an eight point five. Okay, I know. Yeah, I disagree with everybody. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, there's a, there's some positives and some negatives that we could all say about it. Um, a lot of it has, you know, a lot of the negatives. I guess you could say that it's not the original, like the arcade. 
so it, it can only uh, stand to lose uh, some of those I guess uh, good features but uh, having said that you know um, if you had a Genesis this is probably one that you had in your collection um, as far as like uh, you know the, the uh, innovative features that it still kept I think uh, I loved it uh, you could fight in the background and the foreground so that meant a whole lot of jumping around like you saw earlier but um, yeah I mean I give this everything as far as sound graphics the controls everything um, I'd, I'd give it an 8 and uh, that'd be it yeah alright so there you go we are out of here I'm Ron Moore Archangel Zero what's up this is the unknown alright god bless take care no <laughs> Jerry Curls <laughs>